This could very well be the most comfortable shoe I've ever tried this year. Zachary Sneaker Reviews. Welcome to the channel, my name is Zach. You can call me Zachaboo and I'm here for you and any sneakers you might be curious about. No brand snobbing, no shaming whatsoever. And true to no brand snobbing or shaming, let's take a look at a shoe from a brand that's not exactly as popular, especially in places like where I'm from. But then again, that's mostly because majority of the so-called uh, sneakerheads in my country are all Nike, 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 pie, pie, pie. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. If that's your taste, if that's your preference, sure. But I'm just here to let you know that we as consumers have so many more options than we think. This is the Peak Tai Chi 3.0. You know what's crazy is that the Peak Tai Chi 1.0 and 2.0 were actually mentioned by a bunch of other YouTubers to be the most comfortable sneakers over the past couple of years. And I don't think that it's changed with this one. Matter of fact, I think that it just keeps getting better. The Peak Tai Chi 3.0 is the latest iteration in Peak's flagship runner line. While getting off to a really solid start and playing around with the overall design in the past two versions, this year's model takes a much cleaner and overall more streamlined approach, which can actually be compared to another running shoe that just so happens to be my current go-to for running, and that's the Nike Infinity React. I swear man, it's like looking at the same shoe. You can't tell me that the knit on the upper isn't almost identical to the Infinity React. Do I think it's a blatant copy? No, absolutely not. Many runners have this exact build with that full-on knit upper, fuse in some areas to make it more durable as well as to add support, and a bit of TPU to act as a heel counter, and of course for torsional support. On the bottom of the shoe, you have all these triangular sort of nubs for traction, and while it doesn't look like much, it feels good if you're just gonna go for your daily run. I really think the main difference has to be that full-length Tai Chi foam setup from Peak. I'm gonna give them props because they've been so consistent. The transition is super smooth, there's enough energy return, it's super light on top of that, and it stacks up so well against other flagship runners like the Ultra Boost or Infinity React while being a fraction of the price. If you haven't tried Peak's Tai Chi cushion setup, I highly suggest doing so if you're in the market for a new running shoe. To put it simply, it feels like a more plush version of React without having to make the shoe feel too thick. Now, here's the thing. What a lot of people who review these shoes forget to mention is that there's actually a pro version of this shoe. It won't cost you much more, but it does have some additional support pieces. So if you're looking to maybe get a bit more support, more miles, you might want to grab that. But for casual runners and gym goers such as myself, these will take care of your daily runs and reps just fine. The tricky part is the sizing. When I first saw these things, I basically saw a clone of the Nike Infinity React. So I thought, hey, I'll go with my usual US 9.5. Boy was I wrong. These run long, like I could go half a size down without any hesitation. So that's what I'm suggesting. Half a size down because no one wants to run in shoes that are too big. It feels horrible. And you end up tripping over yourself, so yeah, half a size down, please. I was able to get these during the 11.11 sale over on Lazada from the Peak Official flagship store, and I really, really want to get the size changed, but um, so far, no one's gotten back to me yet. So yeah, as good as Peak's products are, they could probably use a little bit of work, especially when it comes to customer service. Just saying. But that's just about it for my review on the Peak Tai Chi 3.0. These are straight up just a phenomenal option for a running shoe that will cost you a fraction of the price of so many other flagship models from other brands. I got these for about 2,800 pesos. That's like 
under $60. But then again, that was during the 11.11 sale. If you are interested in grabbing a pair of these though, I will be leaving a link down below in the description box and you can find my socials there as well. Oh, and hey, we finally hit over 250 subscribers. So that means I will be giving away a pair of shoes. And since these run a little bit long for my liking and still brand new, I'm probably gonna be giving these away just because I want someone out there to experience these and just how good they really are if they've never explored the brand or the actual product. So if you're naturally a size 10 for most Nike running shoes or even Adidas for that matter, New Balance as well, then you might just wanna try these things out. I already sent out the prizes from my last giveaway. So as usual, if you wanna join the contest or if you just appreciate the content in general, then please do subscribe to this channel, like this video, and while you're at it, follow me on Instagram. Again, I will be leaving a link for that in the description box down below. My name is Zach, you can call me Zachaboo. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.